Hi, welcome to the full stack development with Angular 8 and Spring Boot. This is the part first in integrating the shopping cart template to the Angular application. So let's begin. Open a new tab and search for Bootstrap Unstyled Starter Templates. Select the link from startbootstrap.com slash templates. In this website, you will find a lot of unstyled starter templates and all these templates are free to use. So go ahead and choose any one of the template that suits your requirement. I'm going to select this shop homepage template. Click on this and click on the live preview and click on this remove frame. So this is a template that we're going to use in our online bookstore application. So let's click, right click on this template and select view page source. So the first step is to find out what all the libraries they have included in this template. So inside the head section, you can see they have included a bootstrap CSS file and the custom CSS file. And if you scroll down, go to the end of the web page, you can see they have included the jQuery script file and a bootstrap script file. So obviously our next step is to install bootstrap and jQuery library in our Angular application. So let's go to the Visual Studio code open a new terminal and let me expand this. So before that, we should know which version of bootstrap and jQuery we have to install. So let's go to the template and you can click on this jQuery library and you can see they have installed the jQuery 3.x.x and click on this bootstrap library. They have installed 4.x.x. So now we have to install bootstrap 4 and jQuery 3 in our Angular application. So let's go to the Visual Studio code. The next step is to install bootstrap library. So in order to install a bootstrap library, enter a command npm install bootstrap. This is going to install the latest version bootstrap, which is four. In order to install the previous versions, like if you want to install three, two, one, all you have to do is specify at the rate and the version number. So, but in our case, we have to install the bootstrap 4.x.x and this is enough for us. Hit enter. This is going to install the bootstrap library in our Angular application. This will take a few minutes depending upon the internet speed. As you can see, the bootstrap library has been installed, found zero vulnerabilities. So the next step is to install jQuery library. So before that, Let's clear the console and in order to install a bootstrap, execute a command npm install jQuery, hit enter. This is going to install the jQuery 3.x.x and this will take a few minutes to install depending upon the internet speed. As you can see, the jQuery has been installed, found zero vulnerabilities. The next step is to install a font awesome library to use the icons. So let's actually clear the console.
So in order to install the font awesome library, execute a command npm install and the font awesome library name is bit tricky. It's at the rate fort awesome, not font awesome. It's at the rate fort awesome slash font awesome minus free. Remember it's at fort awesome. Hit enter. This is going to install font awesome library in the angular application. All right, we have installed the font awesome library found zero vulnerabilities. So now let's actually verify all these libraries are present in the node modules or not. Let's go to the node modules. First of all, let's click on this refresh button. So that will refresh the project. So let me expand this sidebar and let's open the node modules. And if you scroll down, you will find a folder called at Fort awesome, which is for font awesome library. And if you scroll down, you can see the folder name bootstrap. And if you scroll down, you can see the folder jQuery. So now we have installed all these libraries. So in the next video, we're going to add a reference to these libraries in our Angular application. So that is coming up in the next video. I will see you in the next video. Don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel and click the bell icon to get notified whenever I upload a new video. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you in the next video.